nothing like waking up to the sound of a military helicopter shaking your bones. I'm basically Planet Fitness's little spoon. <laughs> yeah, I see you looking at me funny. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Oh wow, somebody has my license plate with the last four digits of my social. Hey, that's my license plate. And it's got the last four digits of my social. Hey, that's my license plate. And they got the last four digits of my social. Hey, that's my license plate. I wonder what the J stands for. My name is Jamie. At $6 an egg, I promise those weren't wasted. I should have brought some toilet paper with me. So this is Union Station. Kind of reminds me of Grand Central Station and uh, Union Terminal. I'm flattered that they have so many statues that look like me, but why the surfboards? I don't really understand this Union Station building. I didn't know there were two Liberty Bells. So my first impressions of Washington, D.C. It says it's 50 degrees out. I promise you, it's negative five degrees out. Even the weather lies. My guess is the people with the eggs. What are the odds that I'm down here on the anniversary of the January 6th riots? They've got everything completely blocked off. Aside from a few lonely Trump supporters, it was a ghost town. I asked one of the Capitol Police officers, where's the best place to take a picture since everything was roped off and all the streets were closed? After talking to him for a minute, he asked where I was from and what I was doing. And after I told him, he said, go around to the side and tell him Officer Schultz sent you. So I did. He said, you want to see the inside of the Capitol? I was like, uh, yeah. He's like, well, today's your lucky day. Happy birthday. Holy crap. <laughs> I swear to you, I could have literally walked into the house chambers at any point. No longer will the doors be closed. I promise you, they were not closed. I don't think they would have let me vote, but I definitely could have walked in at any point. I want to give all Americans a personal invitation. Shout out to the officer that let me in. That was an unbelievable experience that I'll never forget. You are welcome. Kevin, stop taking credit for something you didn't do. You are welcome. I was so ready to get out of there. I knew I hadn't done anything wrong, but I definitely wasn't supposed to be there. But I was starving and wanted to see if they would take my stolen food stamps. <laughs> I finally feel like I can breathe again. <laughs> I literally cannot believe that just happened. That was insane. That was absolutely insane. I'll never forget today. That was cool and all, but I have crap to do. I literally just rode a scooter here. Okay, off to the White House. I just rode a scooter to the White House. Man, if I was president, I promise you this world would be a lot more fun. The White House literally looks like prison. Sorry, I have to curse to tell this story. So this Spanish family was taking a picture in front of the White House and this guy wearing a Trump hat, he goes, build the wall. And the little Spanish guy, he goes, pero that is a fence, dumbass. <laughs> That's one of the coolest, craziest things I've ever done. 